Oh, wow. Is that a village over there? Oh, it's going to take forever to get over there and check it out. I wonder if they have a blacksmith. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'll just turn myself into an arrow. Oh, yeah, it does have a blacksmith. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Pat, and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today, we're actually going to be taking a look at a very small mod. I know normally I try to review stuff that adds a lot into Minecraft, but this is just so useful, felt like I had to show it. It is called the Arrow Camera Mod. And really all it does is it allows you to follow your arrow, which is cool in the first place. Like it's a lot of fun just to mess around with, so you can have more accurate shots. Like normally, you know, you're hunting for pigs for bacon. You know, you need your bacon, you don't want to waste your arrows. Now, I can actually make sure that I hit them. Like normally, Let's try to hit one that's kind of far away. See the one right there? I'm aiming for him. I miss. But I can get even more accurate. If I hold shift here, I can see how close I am to my target. I actually hit him that time. But yeah, you follow your arrow, which is so cool. Like, I am the arrow. You are the arrow in this mod, guys. There's the, you know, you are the creeper mod this time. You are the arrow. I know. It's weird. But it's really cool. Like, I can aim a lot better with it, and let's say you just want to explore something. You're like, damn, that is a cool mountain over there. Well, you know what? Let's get a better view without walking over there. You gotta hold shift. I totally didn't hold shift that time. Hold shift. And a much cooler view of it. All right, let's try to get a little bit closer. Hold and shift. And wow. I don't know. I think it's awesome for aiming at stuff that's really far away, and even for exploring in a very, very lazy way. You're like, would that be a better spot for building? Take your bow. <laughs> Shoot an arrow. You're like, nah, that place sucks. So kind of cool. And of course, you know, normally in Minecraft, this doesn't really help with stuff that's close by. Like, you know, because normally you can see where the arrow goes. Like, I'm not an idiot. I, I can hit that. And if I miss, let's say I actually miss, you can see the arrow pretty easily. But far away, you can't really see the arrow too good. Like, this target right here, I can probably do pretty good. You know, you lower it a little bit to try to hit the target there, and it's pretty easy. But once something is this far away, let's say you want to take out some enemies. There's some evil mutants over there, and you're like, I got to take those dudes down before we get there, and they kick my ass. Well, now, from far away, you can make sure you actually hit them. So let's try this. Try the target. Zoom in. I'm a little low. Got to raise it up a little bit, you know? But yeah, it's very cool the way it works. I am not the most accurate archer in the world, but this definitely helps a little bit so you can hit your targets without wasting as many arrows. And especially stuff really far away. Like, let's say you're shooting at that target over there. Honestly, can you even tell exactly where the arrow landed? Not really. So if I hold shift, though, I can get a much better idea of where I'm aiming. And guys, some cool stuff to do. Shoot it right into the air, because who doesn't want to travel? into the clouds and then of course you know it starts going back down cool view of the area when you do that let's try it one more time like um towards the pigs here maybe we can get some bacon all right here we go an arrow coming down towards the pigs right no <laughs> that was really close actually and yeah so you can use this for aiming you can use it for kind of checking out areas that are around you if you want to and also guys a ravine is a nice idea, too. You see one, you're like, oh, I don't want to jump in there. Let me get a better view. Shoot it. This is totally not a ravine, by the way. This is a cave. You can probably tell. If you don't know that's a cave, that's probably really bad. But it can be useful for that. And also, if you're fighting the Ender Dragon, those towers can be so annoying sometimes. So we are going to head to the end, and I'll show you guys that it is extremely useful there. All right, guys, we've made it to the end. Sometimes when you're going for these towers, it's really hard to tell how close you were to actually hitting your target. Like, it's really dark here, so zooming in can be really useful, but I don't recommend zooming in when the Ender Dragon is flying at your face. Like this. This would be the worst time ever. You probably would rather hit him when he's doing that. Oh, God, he hit the Enderman. All right, so let's say you're going for this tower, guys. It's hard to tell exactly where you hit. So we're going to zoom in on this shot here. I get a perfect idea. So it needs to be a little bit higher. And let's go with the arrow. I think we actually hit it. Awesome. And by the way, guys, you actually can stop it like mid-flight. Like if you see a mob's coming towards you and you're like, oh God, this is bad. I'm in arrow right now. All you'd have to do is take your hand off shift. Like let's, let's throw this really far away. Let go. And I'm back. 
So you don't actually have to go with it if you don't want to. And normally, I can still shoot arrows. It's fine. You don't have to worry about it too much. But I figured the end would be a good area. If you find, like, a safe spot, not too many endermen around, you're going for the towers, and you're struggling with your aim, it's really going to help a lot. At least I think so. But yeah, guys, that's about all there is to show with this mod. I know it's really, really tiny. But I thought it was pretty cool, and a lot of people would enjoy using this one that are struggling with their shots with the bow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Oh yeah, guys, if you want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time for another Minecraft video.